Now, setting up a survey within Infusionsoft is quite easy. I just showed this example here. This is a set it up in the campaign builder. I'm just opening it up to show you how it works. I'll go into the edit mode, you get a better view of it. We kick the campaign off if you're sending it to your list by just putting a campaign launch goal there and all we do is apply the tag to the part of the list or your whole list that you want to send the survey to. We send out a survey email which basically explains the survey. It then sends them to a form. There's a link on the email that gives them to the survey form. Yeah, it's just a simple survey. I'll open you what, this one up and I'll show you how this is working. The first area here is giving or requesting a yes or no answer. You've got to answer one or the other. You can't answer both. The next one looks at whether it's a check button, whether you've got answers to or options for multiple um, choices and you can actually choose more than one when you use a checkbox. So remember a radio button, one or the other. Checkboxes if you want to turn around and allow them to respond to multiple uh, um, questions or survey questions. So that's it basically when you've done, done the, sent the campaign out. If you want to go and check your results very quick easy way of doing it is in just go to settings and into tags now I've set the tags up under a category called survey results and this will show you all the results for that particular survey and if you want to see the numbers on each one of them just show number and you can see the first question was a yes or a no. Three said no, that they hadn't received hit a ceiling. Six said that they had, so that's a total of nine people responded. Remember, they can only do one or the other. And you can see that, um, you know, 66 or six out of nine or two thirds of the, 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 the sample size said yes, they did hit that particular ceiling. And you can see now what the responses are to all the different other elements that you're trying to dive into uh, and you know, see these will actually add up to more than nine because they're able to choose more than one. So that's basically how you get to see the total results and get a very good summary of it. Now if you want to find out what the other is, rare in mind we had a free field there where people could turn around and put in other. We want to do is view contacts. We've got to search through the contacts and you can actually see what people have written in there. And let's edit the cr criteria that we want to search on. So let's just pull up all the records that said other. And you can see there was three of them. Let's pick on Sarah. Click double click on that and that takes us into her record. And and a person notes she's turned around and said subject to the decision maker's opinion was her response to that. 